Hey guys, good morning and welcome back. Well then, yesterday I flew from Xiamen to Jinan and we took a car to drive from Jinan to Liaocheng, which is where I am now. And it's a bit nippy, it's a bit cold. It's northern China and it's still kind of edging towards winter time here, so... Oh well, <laughs> I brought a scarf, not too worried. So basically, this place here in China is kind of famous for um, making electric vehicles. Uh, Shandong province has the highest amount of electric vehicle manufacturing around. And um, today I'm going to go and visit one of those factories to um, discuss for my customer things like quality, pricing, delivery times, minimum order quantity, um, configuration and all that kind of stuff. So. Yeah, they're gonna go and pick me up in uh, about 20 minutes and before they do I'd like to show you what they have on the road here They love their e-cars here. It's it's real fun. If you go and look in the street You see tons of them and that's what I'm about to show you. So enjoy
three wheel version. Hi guys and welcome back. So, still in the city of Liaocheng in China and I'd like to kind of show you guys what makes this place kind of special. Uh, as you can see, it's not just the old city center, which is really kind of cool, uh, but it's also the fact that they are using really, really a lot of electric vehicles in this town, more than pretty much anywhere else in China, uh, since they're manufactured here. And also because this city it's pretty much flat, there's no mountains, so you don't really need a very expensive e-car to get yourself around. Now there's a whole range of vehicles that they use, anything from electric two-wheelers, to electric cars, to electric buses, to electric trucks. Uh, two wheels, three wheels, four wheels, they've got it all. And the interesting thing is really why this is happening here. Because unlike Europe and America, where people buy a Tesla and it's kind of top down, over here, it's the other way around. It's bottom up. That means people can usually afford to buy an electric vehicle and they may not be able to afford to buy a nice car or even a cheap car. EVs here are inexpensive and that's why you see them absolutely everywhere. So, can I give you guys a little tour around so you can see for yourself what's, what's uh, available here, what are people driving in and um, it's gonna be fun. So. Stay tuned. Fifteen hundred dollars or so. They're normally equipped with lead acid batteries. They have a range of about sixty kilometers and a maximum speed of about thirty-five to forty kilometers an hour. The same counts for these guys. They're usually not yet equipped with lead acid or sorry with uh, lithium batteries. They're all lead acid. That's why they're so cheap.
tend not to last very long, about a year or so, because you can get about 300 cycles out of it before the uh, capacity goes down quite dramatically. Another disadvantage is that they're quite heavy. By the color of the Jeep over there, I think the Chinese are not particularly worried about design or so. <laughs> they're not the most beautiful vehicles, certainly not, but they're practical, they're efficient, they're cheap to buy, and most importantly, they're cheap to run. To recharge one of these little three wheeler e cars will probably cost you about 20 30 dollars or so, which is really economical. Super cool. Isn't that cool? <laughs> 